Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language and machine learning. So in this video I want to write a program that scrapes and summarizes news articles using a machine learning process called natural language processing or NLP for short. And I'm a big advocate on reusing code and uh, libraries to make it easy to to write your program and that's exactly what we're going to do here. In just a few lines of code, we'll be able to uh, scrape the article, get the article's author, get its published date, get the top image. Um, we're going to get the text of the article and summarize the article. So we're going to do all that in just a few lines of code. Now, currently I'm on Google's website called colab.research.google.com because it makes it easy to get started programming in Python. So that means that you don't have to install Python onto your computer. You can just go to this website and log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. All right, so let's go ahead and get started writing our program to scrape and summarize news articles. So the first thing that we need to do is go to File and then go down to New Python 3 Notebook. And then a new tab will open up for us and a new cell where we can immediately start writing our Python program. Now in comments, I like to put a description of what the program does or is supposed to do. That way when I look back at it, I can just read the read that comment and know exactly what it's supposed to do. And other people can do the same as well. So this program scrapes and summarizes news articles. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna ahead and create I'm gonna go ahead and create a new uh, cell and here we're going to import the libraries but before that you're going to need to make sure that you have those libraries installed those libraries or packages if you is what they call them as well so you need to make sure you install the packages first and the the packages that you need to install is called NLTK and newspaper 3k so in order to install them just type uh, pip install NLTK and uh, the other one is pip install newspaper 3k okay and then just run that um, and you'll be able to install these packages all right so I'm just going to leave them in comments here so I'm going to go ahead and create a new cell because I already have them installed and I'm just going to import the libraries. So here in comments, let's type import the libraries. So we're going to import NLTK and we're going to we're going to import article from newspaper. So from newspaper import article. All right, and let me go ahead and run this cell by clicking this button to the left to make sure there's no issues. And it looks like there aren't great. So I'm going to create a new cell here. And we are going to get the article. So I'm going to create a variable called URL and set it equal to the URL of the article. So I have another tab here where we have this article from the Washington Post titled You Downloaded Face App. Here's what you've just done to your privacy. So this article is basically about the new Face App that was used to age people's photo or age people in photos uh, recently that went viral and so you may or may not have seen it on social media everywhere but uh, that's what this article is about and about some privacy issues with that app so I'm just going to take this article take the URL I'm going to copy it come back over here and I'm going to paste it in between these quotes and then we're just going to go down here and I'm going to create a, another variable called article and set it equal to article and then I'm going to put in the URL here and let's run this okay so it looks like everything's good we're going to create a new cell here and in this cell we're going to do some NLP so first thing we're going to do is download the article so article dot download Okay, and then we want to parse the article, so we just type article.parse, 
and then we need to download punt so NLTK dot download punt and then we need to do some natural language processing so uh, I just type article dot NLP okay and I'll run this here and hopefully there's no issues and it looks good so we'll create a new cell here and now we can start um, getting all that stuff that we want and just you know a few lines of code so let's get the author or the authors of the article and to do that we just type article dot authors and so if I run this by clicking that button on the left I get back this list of authors so let's see if we can see um, Jeffrey A. Fowler so that's the first one here I'm trying to get off of that there we go so Jeffrey A. Fowler here so let's go to the article and scroll down and we see that indeed the author is Jeffrey A. Fowler alright so let's go back to our program here and create a new cell and in this cell we will get the published date so I'll put that here get the publish date and to do that we just type article dot publish underscore date and then just run this cell and now this tells us that this article was uh, published on July 17th 2019 so that's pretty cool and now let's go ahead and create a new cell so we'll go ahead and click code here and create our new cell and I want to get the top image of the article so to do that I just type article dot top underscore image and then run this here and so it gives us a link if I click on that link we can see the image and if I go to the article and scroll down here we can see that the image is indeed in the article so that's pretty cool um, we're going to go ahead and create a new cell here where I want to get the articles text so I'm just going to type print and then article dot text and so if I run this here this gives us back the text of the article so if I read this off it looks like it has technology columnist and then it says when an app goes viral how can you know whether it's all good fun or covertly violating your privacy by say sending your face to the Russian government and so if we go back to the article and I scroll up it looks like here it says when an app goes viral how can you know whether it's all good fun or covertly violating your privacy by say sending your face to the Russian government okay and yes this uh, app is uh, or was developed by um, Russians okay so let's go ahead and go back to our code so I think that's really neat in just a few lines of code we we were able to do so much so far um, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new cell and here we're going to get a summary a summary of the article and to do that just print article dot summary and then run this and now we get a summary of the article so it says the most unsettling part was how much data FaceApp was sending to its own uh, on servers after which who knows what happens so pretty interesting um, summary here they say just deleting the app won't get rid of the photos FaceApp may have in the cloud so uh, anyways um, I thought this was one I thought it was an interesting article so I chose it for this example um, two this this newspaper um, package or library I think is amazing to scrape news articles and you guys should give it a try as well so the guy who developed it I actually forgot his name I apologize for that um, but he did a great job on this package and I really like it I think it's amazing um, so anyways I'll be sure to put the code on my github and then put a link to that in the description below uh, please leave any questions you have about this video or about the code in the comment section. Um, please become a subscriber to my channel for more videos uh, like this on Python and other programming languages. 
and hit that like button it really helps out and if you found this video helpful please share it uh, maybe other people will find it helpful as well and as always thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video